Hey everybody, Tom Barnes stories from the 78 here in Goose Island at the Salt Shed for EatsCon. Yeah, and you can't have picked a better day. It is beautiful out here in Chicago in like the Goose Island neighborhood. I'm gonna talk to some folks about what EatsCon's all about for this story from the 78, but I just wanted to give you an aerial view. Sorry it's a little windy, but I uh, couldn't pass up this shot here. So check this out. Uh, this is the story from 78. All right, so you're taking a look at EatsCon right here in Chicago at the Salt Shed. I'm here with my friend Arden. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Welcome to EatsCon, Tom. Thanks for having me. So you're the editor-in-chief of Infatuation, right? That's right. And that's what who's putting on this fantastic event. So for folks that don't know what that is, can you explain a little bit about Eats, EatsCon and its involvement with Infatuation? Yes, absolutely. I'll actually start with the Infatuation. The Infatuation is a restaurant review platform. We share honest recommendations for restaurants and bars across the world. And when I say honest, I mean it. We go to every single restaurant and bar that we write about. And EatsCon is our food festival. It's like a music festival, but you swap the music headliners with restaurants. Every single restaurant that you see here is handpicked by our editorial team here in Chicago. And uh, we're really excited about all 20 plus of these restaurants. I love the fact that you said you switch out the music headliners with restaurant yes. headliners and you have a few out here and I know that you have some uh, Chicago ones but you also have places from I saw LA New York and all the other places right yes absolutely I'm I'm from Los Angeles uh -huh. so I'm excited to have Minotti's coffee shop from LA right down here and uh, we have tacos from Los Angeles as well and then we also have Zingerman's from Ann Arbor in right, which is home because you went to Michigan right yes yeah I went to Michigan, U of M, Go Blue for uh -huh. undergrad, and um, we've partnered with Shake Shack to bring Zingerman's here to EatsCon Chicago, and they're doing oh. this ridiculous pastrami burger that I haven't tried yet, but you better believe I'll be trying it soon. Absolutely, and, and speaking of, it's right down there. You can see Shake Shack oh. Zingerman's, yep. and that's right on the campus of the school. It was also perhaps maybe this uh, the deli shop or whatever they used in the movie five-year engagement. So there's a lot of fun little fun facts with that. But as far as this uh, footprint here, have you ever, is this your, you know, I know you missed the one last year because unfortunately you were sick, but this is your first time here at Salt Shed in Chicago. I imagine this has got to be a more unique place yes. for EatsCon. This is such a special venue. I mean, this is my first time here at EatsCon Chicago. This is our second annual EatsCon Chicago. And uh, I was just learning a little bit about the history of the Salt Shed in this neighborhood. And it's just so, such a wonderful event space. We're happy to be here. And as far as like what goes on inside, there's like a whole sit down area and you have like a, like a con going on in there. Explain that aspect of it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so we have a series of panelists. We're even gonna have Chance the Rapper, Chicago's very own, and Common in there. We're gonna have Chrissy Teigen, all speaking about what they do, their passions, their favorite restaurants. We also have a whole panel with um, our infatuation editorial team that we call Dining Dilemmas, where the audience gets to throw hyper-specific dining questions at them. Oh, and in fun. real time, we tell people where to eat in Chicago. Awesome. And as far as you said you're from LA, so you uh, where are you based out of now? Are you out in New York? I'm actually in New York. In New York, all right. I so, just moved back to New York from okay. LA. Okay, but you're from LA. Yes. And you've been to Chicago, New York. Who has the better pizza? Oh my goodness. <laughs> New York has the best pizza, come on. But uh, I, I love a New York slice. There's nothing like walking down the streets of New York, grabbing a slice of cheese and keeping it moving. But I feel like Chicago's equivalent of that is the hot dog. There's it nothing is, very like much a Chicago so. dog. And a beef sandwich. And I mean, an with Italian the bear beef. and the whole thing, Italian beef sandwich. Oh, one of the craziest things I've done in my job at the Infatuation is gone on an Italian beef crawl with the Infatuation Chicago team. Really? We went to five or six different beef spots in one day. That's a lot of beef in a day. It was a lot of beef in a day, but I live to tell the tale. Yeah, I imagine that also got you to get around the city a little bit because there's great beef spots in very different neighborhoods. Yes. Like the Bear is in River North, which is just kind of over your right shoulder, yep. a little bit that way, but then you got North Side, South Side, right. West Side places, so uh, a lot of fun. How can people find more information about these events and other things that you guys do throughout the year? I'd say read theinfatuation.com, subscribe to our newsletters, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, we're everywhere where you might imagine, and We've got lots of great restaurant recommendations for cities all over the world. 
And before I let you out of here, we talked a little bit about pizza and Italian beef, and you mentioned uh, the place that you love in LA. If people are coming here and they have five minutes in their day, yeah. what is one of the places Ooh. they should, I know they should try everything, but if yeah. there was that one unique thing that people are like, oh, you got, that's the thing. Is it the mashup, the Shake Shack mashup, or is it uh, another spot here? I'd say you gotta try the Shake Shack Zingerman's mashup, but my favorite spot that's here is actually Momo World, which is a Nepali spot here in Chicago, and they have these dump, Tibetan dumplings that are so delicious and special and unlike anything else I've had before. Juicy, juicy dumplings. That's my that's my top pick. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking time to chat with me. Of course. I'll let you, I know it's a, you're, it's a busy day today, so I'll let you get back to it. So thank you, you very it. much. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice chatting. Course. All right, you heard it here. That's EatsCon, Tom Barnish Chicago at gmail.com. If you have a story from the 78 suggestion, or go over the website, storiesfromthe78.com. Uh, a lot of fun, so you should check it out. Thanks.